Good afternoon, dear participants of the conference. Today, authors present the paper called Automated Data Mining of Single Objects from Blurred Astronomical CCD Frames Using the Lucy Richardson Deconvolution. Now, the fast technological progress provokes creation of a big amount of data. There are a lot of different fields of science that use the high-dimensional data sets for analysis. One of them is astronomy. So, in what way the big data sets can be fed? This data can be fed in different forms, for example, file stream, video stream, physical data saved on the different servers, virtual observatories, or even astroplates. All this data can be received from the network of automated ground and space-based observation systems, or even from the old astronomical archives. When we have a lot of astronomical data, what can we do with it? There are a lot of directions of research in astronomy. Some of them are solar system objects, variable stars, asteroids, comets, near-Earth objects, satellites, and other. The regular series of frames can contain hundreds of frames, where in one frame a lot of, of thousands of objects are presented. There are a lot of challenges for the image formation posed by atmospheric turbulence, mechanical vibrations and other distortions. Also, there are a lot of different types of telescopes aberrations that can cause the corrupted astronomical data. For example, diffraction rays, motion blur, vignetting, flare light, coma and others. The data with some aberrations is unnecessary information. Almost all aberrations can be removed by the different filters during the preprocessing stage. But what can we do with the blurring? Examples of blurry images of objects in digital frames are shown in this slide. The main reasons of such blurring are the atmospheric disturbance, loss of diurnal tracking, inaccurates in satellite tracking or even wind gusts. So, I want to tell you about the developed cloud-based information system for astronomical image processing, which allows the end user to perform the blurred image restoration. For such image restoration, we selected the Lucy Richardson deconvolution algorithm. This is an iterative technique designed for the restoration of images that have been blurred by a known point spread function, PSF. The essence of the Lucy Richardson algorithm lies in its iterative approach to estimate the original image by minimizing the difference between the observed image and an image convolved with the PSF. The developed web-based application was implemented in scope of the Collection Light Technology Kalitec, project as independent system. Few words about the Kalitec project and its main product, Lemur software. On this slide you can find the very brief sequence of the online processing. Images are saved from the telescope, then processed by Kalitec project or Lemur software in different modes, and we can get necessary results as light curves and appropriate reports. The Lemur software implements all data mining steps during processing the different types of astronomical information, which can be fed online in automated mode. On this slide you can see the results of frames processing by the Lemur software. There are raw frames on the left side and processed frames with alignment and centered view on the right side. Also detected moving objects are present on the right side. There are different technologies and tools were used during the development of such a system. The main information is presented in this slide. Programming language is Python, Docker for the containerization, React as a front-end, Redis server, AWS platform for deployment and database maintenance, Redis for task queue management. On this slide, you can see an architecture of the developed image deconvolution software. The designed architecture is suitable for vertical and horizontal scaling. 
Vertical scaling based on AWS EC2 is used in current stage of research and development. On the next few slides, you will see some screenshots of the user interface of the developed application. Image processing in the system is represented by tasks. Each user can create an image processing task by selecting a specific method, setting parameters, and uploading an image. The application provides an comprehensive list of created image processing tasks, enabling the user to manage and monitor their progress. For each task, detailed progress information is available, including stage from initial to completion, enhancing transparency and user engagement. Once the image has been processed, user can view detailed details regarding the execution time and the parameters utilized if the provided algorithm supports it. Additionally, processed result download is available in achieved format. The input and output frames comparison is presented in next two slides. On the left side you will see blurred image, on the right side processed. Also we perform the scalability test. The results are in this slide. As you can see, for six workers the total processing time was reduced at 55%. Testing was carried out on a machine with six cores. Compared to existing analogs in the field of astronomical image processing, the developed application provides a number of advantages, like scalability potential, vertical and horizontal, lower entry barrier, support for various image formats, including astronomical feeds format, as well as regular JPEG and is of the new image processing methods integration and integration possibilities for the third-party services via REST API. The Kalitech project is developed by enthusiasts. Kalitech has assisted in making over 1,700 discoveries of asteroids, including 5 NEO, 21 Trojan asteroids of Jupiter, 1 Centaur. It has been used in about 800,000 observations, during which five comets were discovered. Thank you for your attention.